Please welcome Mark Indelicato. <laughs> Eddie Suarez herself. Please welcome Golden Globe winner America Ferrara. Yes, please welcome Christopher Gorham. Please welcome Eric Mabius. Please welcome Rebecca Romaine. Please welcome Alan Dale. Please welcome Ashley Jensen. And Becky Newton. Michael Urbe. She plays the glamorous Wilhelmina. Please welcome the gorgeous Vanessa Williams. And executive producer and writer on Ugly Betty, please welcome Marco Panette. And finally, please welcome back the executive producer and writer, Silvio Horta. I came on because I, this was, this was something I, I knew this title, I knew this telenovela, my mom would always watch it, so she'd be t uh, talking about it. And, uh, and it was just one of those things I was tracking for a while. And uh, I, that summer before I had connected with, with uh, Ben Terry, Selma, and, and Pepe, um, I had I just, I'd done a pilot and uh, didn't go forward. And I just decided I'm, I'm, I'm done with TV, uh, <laughs> taking off. And I went to Europe for, for two months. And uh, before I'd left, I sat down with, uh, with Touchstone. And, and I just was inquiring about it. The, the project, were, they, there was a script that existed and, and it, they didn't develop it and they were redeveloping it. I just asked for it. I took it with me and uh, read it and didn't really respond to it, but I kept thinking, I'm like, there's gotta be a way to do, there's gotta be a way to do it. So I was on the phone with, uh, with Ben and Terry uh, in Switzerland, in Interlaken, and I said, I've, I've figured it out. I know exactly how to do this. <laughs> Betty is an FBI agent. <laughs> this is true, and since De you said, dead silence. You can now say it publicly because we've kept that to ourselves for that's three fine. years, <laughs> Silvio. That's good. Um, <laughs> the, the, lo <laughs> the longest pause in, in the world, and suddenly I went, "Well, maybe that's not the right idea. Maybe there's a different way to do it." <laughs> so they they really encouraged me. You know what? It doesn't. You don't have to go to that extreme to find a way to make it work. Just, just look into look into what you respond to this. And so I really just looked into, into my past, you know, and like what, how I grew up and growing up with telenovelas and growing up being first generation Cuban American. And, and really that's, that's the route I took. That's the way I found in.